Hey guys, welcome to my mini lecture. Uh, today I'll be speaking to you about learning through conditioning. Within psychology, there are two types of learning, operant conditioning and classical conditioning. Classical conditioning involves learning by association, whereby a conditioned stimulus is paired with an unconditioned stimulus to create a conditioned response. Operant conditioning, however, refers to a method of learning which occurs through a reward and a punishment of behaviour. So today I'll be specifically talking about operant conditioning, which involves learning through positive and negative reinforcement. When we talk about reinforcing behaviour, we mean that the behaviour that is being influenced is intended to be increased. Positive reinforcement involves the addition of a stimulus to a situation in order to motivate a desired behaviour. Get me chocolate. No. Ow. Gabby, get me a chocolate. No. Ow. No. Ow. No. Ow. Ow. Gabby, get me a chocolate. No. Ow. Gabby. Yeah. Get me chocolate. That was an example of positive conditioning as I added pulling my sister's hair as a way to get her to increase her behaviour towards giving me chocolate. Negative reinforcement on the other hand involves taking away a stimulus in a situation to motivate a desired behaviour. Fletcher, get off your iPod. No. You're spending too much time on it. I don't care. That's it. No! If you touch your iPod again, I'm chopping off your finger. You're faking. No, I'm serious. Okay. Ow! Ow! No! Ow! No! Ow! Ow. This was an example of negative reinforcement as I took away his fingers in order to stop him from using his technology. Special disclaimer that no fingers were hurt in the process of this video. Thank you. Thank you for listening to my mini lecture. Hope you learned something new.